Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial in which I'm going over some questions and answers to help prepare you for the Project Plus certification exam regarding project management. In this video we will be covering project constraints and looking at how those affect your project and some of the basic concepts you need to know for this when you're taking the exam. There are lots of variables that can impact the various constraint variables and influences throughout your project. Some of those constraints are going to be like budget, the scope of the project, the deliverables, the quality, what resources you have available to you, any type of requirements that have been put on the project, the scheduling of the different phases. Uh, there are different things that can influence you such as scope creep, um, customers or even your people that you report to changing the request, making requests like that changes other projects you're part of. So there's lots that can affect the project and those constraints are what we need to focus on. And that's why we have risk strategies and activities that we go through. Some of those strategies are going to be like accepting, mitigating, transferring, avoiding the risks. And different risk activities that are involved here are going to be like the identification of the risks, planning for them, reviewing them, responding, having the risk register. Some of those concepts I want you to keep in mind as we go through these questions. So with that in mind, and you are completely focused on project constraints, let's delve into some questions. All right, the first one we have here is, what are the three common constraints that are found in projects? Take a look at the list below and pick three. Pause so that you can read these and then we'll pick right up. Hopefully you selected the three that we know as the triple constraints. These are time, budget, and scope. Almost all projects are constrained by all three of these. The time constraint, the budget constraint, and scope. All these are going to impact the overall quality of the project and that's why we call them the triple constraints. Let's take a look at another question here. Now here's a scenario where the steering committee originally mandated that the cost was the most important factor to a project, keeping the project team size very lean. As the project drags on, the steering committee shifts and tells the project manager that schedule is the most important factor of the project. This is an example of which type of influence on a given project. Go ahead and pause now if you want to read those. Hopefully you selected C, scope creep. Influences can manipulate or impact existing constraints or may bring about new types of constraints. And that would be what scope creep is all about. Next question, a potential future event that can have either a negative or positive impact on a project is known as which of the following? Hopefully you're able to select choice B here as you need to remember that a risk can be either positive or it can be a negative risk. And it represents an opportunity or a threat that did not exist earlier in the project. This next question here, after you begin to identify all of the potential risks that might impact your project, you should record them in which one of the following that I alluded to a few minutes ago. That's right, it is the risk register. This is the tool that you're going to use to document all potential risks for future analysis and evaluation. So definitely know about the risk register. Now at a minimum, which of the following types of information would be recorded on said risk register? Look at this list and choose three. Hopefully these are the three that you selected as well. Standard information that exists on a risk register might include an identification number, a description, the probability and impact, a risk score, and the owner as they all relate to risks. Now we'll take a look at another question here. Now what is the activity called of selecting those risks that have the greatest chance of occurring and the biggest impact on the project should they occur? Hopefully you chose choice D here, risk analysis, because it is the process of figuring out what risks might happen and what the results would be if that risk did occur. 
now let's take a look at this question in which a road construction project is going to require the use of the company's road paver. Now this is a piece of equipment that lays asphalt down on the roads and the requirement is we need this in the next two weeks. The road paver is in use until this Friday in a different city and will require five days to be relocated. This is an example of which type of constraint from the list below. Hopefully as you read this it was very quickly jumping out at you that this of course is scheduling. Now similar to the availability of people with certain specific skills, equipment availability and scheduling can also lead to a constraint on a project. Now in the determination of the project scope, which of the following constraints needs to be factored into the discussion? Now select two here from this list. Hopefully you selected B and C. Two of the triple constraints are represented in the options, a predefined budget and a fixed or mandated finish date. These constraints will impact the options available in terms of your scope and they should be considered in terms of creating the scope statement. Let's take a look at another question here. Now Billy Bob, who's the project manager on a project, receives a change request to add more scope to the project while not changing the schedule or the budget. Which of the following options are true of this change request? Hopefully you selected A, where it represents an influence on the project. Change requests, scope creep, and interactions between constraints are some of the influences that can impact a project. Now let's take a look at this question here. I want you to identify the, this definition. Factors that may impact the change of an existing constraint or may bring about a new constraint. This is the definition of, that's right, an influence. Influences can manipulate or impact existing constraints or may bring about new constraints. Well, thank you for following along in this video. I hope it helped bring in some of the information for the constraints area of project management as well as to help motivate you to go out and read some more about constraints and do some more research. Thank you for following along in my Project Plus series here and helping you prepare for your Project Plus certification exam. Good luck as you study and thank you for following along.